What is up guys? My name is Mark Sanmarino. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. It's true. I've been sick as a dog since Thursday. You can kind of still hear it in my voice since Thursday. I started feeling kind of under the under the weather on Thursday. And uh, <clears throat> this was all with a plan on going to the track Saturday to tune in my e-buggy. But Thursday I started feeling like crap. Friday rolled along. I stopped running a fever but still felt like crap. And then Saturday, I was like, I should feel good Saturday. Saturday, I still felt under the weather. I didn't feel right. Sunday, felt kind of bad still. And then Monday, I decided, you know what? I'm going to go into work. I was in at work on Monday. Started feeling really lightheaded. I went home early Monday. And then sometime Monday night, Tuesday morning, I ended up waking up and my face was like so inflamed. My sinuses were so severely inflamed and infected that I couldn't talk and everything like in this area was just pushed out so <clears throat> I ended up going to the ER um, Monday morning or Tuesday morning Monday night they gave me all different types of crazy stuff all different types of shots long story short is they got me normal again um, my sinuses went down I'm an on an antibiotic and I'm about to be able to be exposed to the regular world again so tomorrow will be 48 hours on antibiotics and I'll be good to go but I didn't get to record much content. I usually record my content on Saturday and Sunday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday time. So I don't have much content right now, but I do have a whole bunch of cool stuff I want to talk about. Um, one of the things is I'm like living in complete filth. Check this out. So let's see if you can see all that back. All right, see all these boxes back here? These are all boxes that have stuff that I need to, let's set you back down. It has stuff that I need to either unpack or they're just RC stuff. And uh, one of the vloggers I watch, yes, I watch other vloggers on YouTube. Uh, one of the vloggers that I watch, he did a segment, which I'm not going to tell you what this vlog is about. It's a really cool vlogger. His name is Chris Ramsey. Anyways, he did a segment on um, kind of going through some of his junk drawers. Well, I'm gonna go through so much junk drawers, guys. You, you guys are gonna be like, what? Why do I have all this stuff? I have, so, I have a couple of drawers back here that I've had this stuff for so long and it's like, well, why do I even have this stuff? So I'm gonna put the camera in position. I'm gonna start breaking down what I have in these drawers and uh, I can tell you what sparked it. So the reason why I decided that I need to go through these drawers, not just because Chris Ramsey, but <clears throat> when I was sick, I was like, maybe I should start building another kit. I have two kits I need to build, ET, uh, the EB and ET410s, which I'm so excited to build those. And I was sick. Believe it or not, I was that sick where I really didn't want to do anything. I just want to be in bed, so I didn't get to build them. But the reason why I'm bringing all this up is I was about to buy a brand new ESC for my 10 scale stuff, and I forgot. This is so bad, guys. I forgot that I actually have a bunch of 10 scale ESCs. And I found out because I was in my garage um, soldering up some connectors because I needed to solder up some new connectors for my new ProTech charger. And I was like, what is that ESC? There was an ESA sitting on my desk. And it was a like new R10, Orion R10 Pro. And back in the day, Orion R10 Pro was the way to go. That was before Hobby Wing got really, really big. So I'm going to try to run that thing. And the reason why I'm going to go through these drawers because we're going to see what else we got in here. We got, probably got a whole bunch of crap in here, so let me go grab it. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go through this drawer. So basically, first off, I'm recording another camera. I don't know if the sound is going to be as good, but um, I'm just going to deal with it for now. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything with this sound right now. So, my wife bought me these drawers a while back. And he's like a whole bunch of like a... Uh, it's like an Ikea thing where you can have like these boxes and the... Uh, in the drawers and I used to stuff a whole bunch of stuff in here just random stuff that I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with so this is a box that I literally just took out of there and I know I throw all my extra RC stuff in here so let's just go through and see what's in here the very first thing I see is a VXL 3S looks like just the ESE brand new in the package um, I don't know why I have this it has a price tag on it so it was a warranty return I guess I bought it because I saw it was cheap um, let's see, this is a first class mailbox. Oh my god, this is sad. Alright, so I have two ESCs in here. What is going on? The first ESC I have in here is the 
ET3S. I believe this is the ESC that goes in the Traxxas uh, drag car. I got that. And then I have the Mamba, it looks like the Mamba Monster Pro. No, this is the Mamba Monster. I guess this is the ESC that goes in the E-Revo. And then I have the motor for the drag car. Looks like it's brand new. And the motor for the E-Revo. I don't know why I have this. I think I took the uh, original Mamba Monster out of my E-Revo because I wanted to put a Hobby Wing in there. That was when I was like a big, I was drinking that Hobby Wing Kool-Aid like crazy guys. Is, is the light bright enough? I'm trying to look. I guess I guess the light's bright enough. I guess you just got to deal with it again. I'm kind of far. I didn't plan on being this far. Here we go. Here's something that you don't see every day. A Hobby Wing XE Run. This is the 120 amp 10 scale brushless speed controller. Maybe I can run that in my ET. Probably not. Anyways, I have that. Don't know why. I bet the BEC sucks on that thing. Here's something else. This one has my name on it. Mark. Mark. Oh, I know why I ordered this. This is the Valenian brushless system. Um, I actually ordered this because I was going to try. This is the the newest, the latest and greatest uh, Valenian brushless system. I was actually going to try to see if there was a difference between the old Valenian brushless systems and the new Valenian brushless systems, which I was told that there is, and I wanted to do an experiment to do it, and that never happened. That was actually a vlog idea, like when I first started vlogging. But let's get moving. That's the Furious DVD, Fast and Furious Six DVD. I was in Wonderland DVD. Got a whole bunch of uh, lanyards in here, like lanyards galore. Oh look, it's a GPS. I used to go geocaching with this thing. It's a good, good GPS. Obviously, I don't go geocache anymore. Or not geocaching, but ge look, an old iPad. Good God, this thing is old school. I probably need to sell that. If you know where I can sell an iPad, let me know. This is like the freaking first gen iPad piece. Here it is. Ryan R10 Pro. Brand new in the box. I guess that's my, e, that's my ET or my EB. At least I got ESCs. Why the heck do I have this? Oh, this is the Valenian system for the mini e Revos, The full system. This one must have been a warranty return because there's nothing on it. Valenian system in there also. Um, I'll buy Valenian systems because I think they're really robust brush systems and whenever I'm bashing that's the that's the system I buy. Ah, <sighs> Mama Micro Pro. I used to be really big into art, uh, racing RC18s. RC18, uh, 18 scale cars. And that, my friends, is the ESC to run in there. Um, is Let's not talk about that, guys. I actually know what that is. That's a that was a birthday gift, a gag gift I got from some of my friends way back. Oh look at this, a six five thirteen, a six five uh, turn Trinity motor. This is the old school one. Look at this thing. It's used. I probably won't use this. Uh, maybe I'll use it. Who knows? I got an old, not the old. This is a Hobby Wing uh, four pole motor. We got a random capacitor in here. An Orion capacitor bank. Um, maybe I have a blown capacitor bank somewhere that. Why do I have a random Valenian motor? And this is like new. It's still got the rubber bands on it. All right. So that was kind of weird. Um, maybe cool. Maybe you guys liked it. I don't know. But if you did, let me know if you liked it. And I've got a whole bunch. Of... <laughs> I've got a big like drawer thing that's sitting right behind the camera right now. That is all my my all my brand new never opened stuff. It's where I keep all my stock of like electronics and things like that. That was just a random drawer. I kind of want to go through that to see what I have. And then I have a whole bunch I really need to go through in the garage. So if you like these kind of videos, let me know what you think. I'll um I'll do these more often or I can just do them on my own. Um, I I think they're pretty entertaining. I mean, can you believe I have all the junk in there? I told you I'm like a Traxxas guy all the way through and through. Um, but thanks for watching guys. If you like this, smash that like button. Let me know in the comments if you like this. Because I'll do it all to all my, I'll even do it to drawers that aren't RC drawers. So, um, I'm glad I'm feeling better. I do plan on getting my Techno um, EB48.4 out this weekend. I want to go Saturday. Would have been nice to be able to go yesterday. Tuesday, Ryan Lutz was up at Indy RC World. I missed that one. But I do plan on, and I've already signed up for the January, not so January-ish jam, I think they would call it. That was my first huge race when I first got sponsored by Techno. I think it was gonna be really cool to go back to that race. 
I do plan on going out to that race at the beginning of February, but it is the January Jam at Flowood, Mississippi. I've already signed up for the Icebreaker. That's going to be an amazing race. And I've been talking to my good friend Corey Drakenberg um, out in Canada. We're talking about meeting up for the Silver State race. Never been to Silver State. That's been a race that I've always wanted to go to. And I'll take you guys with me. But if you like it, like, smash the like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. You guys will see me next time. Later, guys.